Now let's try to put it all together. We've got our first problem. We already figured out that the high school average helped us to predict the college average. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the calculator. We start by going to mode, then we go to stat, and then we hit A plus BX. Our X's are down below. So we'll start with that. 52, 74, 57, 73, 70, and 90, 68, and lastly 64. We go down and move over and do the same with our Y's on top. 45, 82, 35, 80, 71, 95, 67, and 56. We have eight points. They match up beautifully, so let's hit AC. Earlier when we sketched it, we found that there was a positive linear relationship. Now we need to figure out what A is and what B is. Okay, so we go back to our calculator and we're going to do shift 1, regression, and find A. A we get at negative 45.08. Sorry, that kind of ran into my B. Okay, let's go ahead and do B. Shift 1, 5, and choose B. And we get 1.63. So we have Y equals 1.63X minus 45.08. This is our line of best fit, also known as our line of regression. Now it says, find the correlation coefficient R and comment on its value. Okay, well we just hit AC, so all we have to do now is do shift one, regression, and choose R. And we find that R is 0 0.94. In other words, this is a strong positive correlation. And now it says find R squared. Well, we left R in the calculator, so all we have to do is hit the squared button, and we get 0 0.88. So R squared equals 0 0.88. In other words, we can say 88% of the data is explained by our line. Now, if 88% of the data is explained by our line, then that means 12% of the data is not. So let's go ahead and try another one. We've already sketched a scatter diagram and we found a negative linear relationship. We need to find the line of best fit, so we need to put X and Y in here. X is the top, Y is the bottom, so I hit mode. Notice I don't hit shift, I just hit mode. Mode, stat, number two and we put in our X, 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, and now our Y, 5, 3, 2, 2, 0, 1. Perfect, everything matches up, we hit AC. We need to start by finding A. So we do Shift 1, Regression, Find A, and we get A is 5.97. Now B, we get is negative 1.09. So the equation is negative 1.09x plus 5.97. Now we need to find r. And to find r, we do the exact same steps. Shift 1, go to regression, number 5, and choose number 3 for r. And we get r is negative 0 0.96. This means that it is a strong 
negative correlation. Okay, now we need to do R squared. So we all we have to do is square what we found by hitting the squared button, and we get R squared is 0 0.92, or 92% of the data is explained by the line. All right, let's try the other one, which we didn't think had a very strong correlation earlier. Now we have x on top, y on the bottom. We know that we need to put it in. So we hit mode, stat, and once again, a plus bx. One, one, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, let's go over. One, five, four, two, seven, eight, and ten. Everything matches up perfectly. So we are going to go ahead and start by finding A, then B, and then we'll do R. So shift one, we go to regression and find A. A we found to be 0 0.62. Okay, now let's do B. B we found to be 1.63. So our equation is y equals 1.63x plus 0.62. Now we're going to do the same for r, shift 1, 5, and number 3 for r. And we get r is 0 0.79. Okay, once again, this is a strong positive correlation. All right, now let's do r squared by hitting our squared button. And we find that r squared is 0 0.63, or only 63% of the data is explained by the line. So it is still a good fit. However, if 63% is explained by the line, well, let's see what happens. 100% minus 63%. That means 37% of the data is not explained by the line, meaning that there is a huge amount of data that is not explained. So this wasn't nearly as strong as our other relationships that came out at 92 and 88. So you can kind of see how even a very small amount can confuse us as to what we want to do.